Beach and Wrightsville Beach. Both popular locations for families in our area to travel for summer vacation. Got a few people still out there tonight enjoying some of the waves. But all that fun does come with some risks. So, hey, Rachel, got some questions for you here. What are the main dangers people need to consider before heading to the beach this summer? Yeah, when it comes to the weather and certainly the ocean conditions, you got rough surf, but rip currents are certainly mm -hmm. a really big concern. And it can be something that we forget about until we're out there and then dealing with the impact. So I want to explain rip currents just a little bit more for you guys. What happens is you've got the water that's rushing towards the shoreline, just trying to find the lowest point. It's going to converge and it's going to go back out and it creates the rip current that you see on your screen that can move at speeds up to eight feet per second and if you're wondering okay how fast is that faster than an Olympic swimmer mm. so it's one of those things where we say it all the time but don't try to fight the current if you're indeed caught in a rip current so what do you do uh, you swim parallel to the shore and if you can't escape it's okay to float tread water just call for some help or wave your hands and that way anybody on the shore whether that be your friends your family or a lifeguard can help you out Jamie yeah be very very careful and heed those warnings because usually they put it out right when exactly. those uh, riptide warnings might be coming hurricane season's coming too that's something we got to watch for yeah absolutely so when hurricanes are impacting it's so important to stay tuned to us of course we're going to keep you posted on the WBTV free first alert weather app you can actually look at those tropical cone forecasts as well from the National Hurricane Center and there's a ton of impacts that you can get from a hurricane but one of which when we're talking about the ocean storm surge so you've got your normal sea level that's that line that you see in green let's just say there's a house maybe you're running a beach house with some friends when those winds from that storm and there's so many factors that go into this and just how high that ocean surge can get but that's going to increase the level of the water. So let's talk about some impacts. Three feet probably won't impact much in terms of getting onto the shore, but six feet absolutely could start to get to the bottom of homes. And then once you get higher than that, I mean, we can cover entire houses. It's a very deadly uh, portion and, and factor that they watch when hurricanes are certainly making mm -hmm. landfall along the coastline. So storm surge is something that we watch in addition to the winds, of course, with your hurricanes, the heavy rainfall that we typically deal with with hurricanes as well. Um, and even those tropical tornadoes, those brief tornadoes that you can get, yeah. something that you'll want to keep those alerts on loud. So it's hurricane season officially, and that's something that we're going to be watching more and more. Tropics quite at the moment, but we quite know. Quite at the moment. But that's we right. know. Yeah, eventually <laughs> it's going to fire up. Exactly. Uh, Rachel, thank you. Coming up next year. And on your